A wedding is a remarkable day in everyone's lives. We celebrate in the greatest way possible and are happy on that day since weddings are something that only happens once, and everyone wants to make it memorable and exciting. That's why everyone spends a lot of money on their dress to seem lovely that day. And what happens when the outfit is not of the mind? How did a marital schism work? Today, we'll talk about the controversy that's been going on for a long time. It's about a marriage where there were a lot of fights over the dress, and the fights turned into tears. What happened before Prince Harry and Meghan's wedding in 2018, when bridesmaids' dresses made people cry? The tailor who fitted Meghan Markle's bridesmaid dresses, which sparked a heated quarrel between the Duchess and her sister-in-law, Kate, said he was not shocked that the debate ended in tears. The Express claims that after four years of silence, luxury suit and tailor AJ Mapurdi has broken his silence on the bitter feud that erupted when Princess Charlotte fell into tears. AJ stated that he was not a witness to the infamous argument between Kate and Meghan, but he provided an unpleasant peek into its origin. AJ told the Daily Mail that he and three other employees were required to work non-stop for four days at Kensington Palace and Windsor Castle in 2018, prior to the royal wedding. Initial accounts of a dispute between the two royal ladies indicated that Kate was the one left in tears. Meghan later refuted this truth in an interview with her husband and Oprah Winfrey in 2021, stating that she was the one left sobbing. Prince Harry also mentioned the dispute in his new book Spare, stating that his wife was left sobbing on the floor after the confrontation. Mr. Mirpuri, 45, who owns a store in London's West End, stated that he understood why anyone would be outraged at the disruption of such enormous plans. AJ stated if something occurred in the background, it did not occur in the foreground. However, weddings are stressful even under the best of circumstances, much less one of this magnitude. Problems always arise at the 11th hour and this couple was no exception. It would be really stressful if the gowns didn't fit so I can see why people would be concerned about that. I feel terrible for them because no one wants their child to perform on a huge stage wearing an ill-fitting garment. We successfully altered the outfits of all six bridesmaids. I'm a royalist at heart, so I made it my mission to see that my little company did its best to assist the British monarchy. Prince Harry in his autobiography Spare added an alternative point of view to the discussion. According to the Duke, just four days before the wedding, Kate texted Meghan about Princess Charlotte's distress about her too huge, too long, too baggy attire. Harry claims that tensions escalated after Meghan insisted that Kate bring Charlotte to Kensington Palace so that Meghan's tailor, AJ, could make alterations to the garment. When asked whether the dresses didn't need to be redone, Kate supposedly said no. There have been rumors that Kate responded fine after Meghan insisted that Charlotte visit the designer. Both the bridal gown and the evening gown were designed by British fashion designer and Givenchy creative director Claire Wade Keller. According to this, AJ said, I have no idea what dimensions Givenchy had gotten, but with our experience and understanding, we could see immediately that all six bridesmaid dresses had to be changed since they weren't going to fit. Florence Van Cutsum, Harry's goddaughter, Rylan and Remy Litt, the daughters of Meghan's friends, Ivy Mulroney, the daughter of Canadian stylist Jessica Mulroney, the unofficial maid of honor, and Zaley Warren, another of Harry's goddaughters and the youngest of the group. At the time, she was two years old. Meghan was sobbing on the floor before the wedding, according to Harry, because she was so stressed out over her daughter Charlotte's clothing and the situation with her father, Thomas Markle. Over the course of its first day in the stores, Spare sold over 400,000 copies in hardcover digital and audio formats, according to the publisher. Stories in the United Kingdom began selling Harry's book bright and early on Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed it as well, and until we meet again with a new topic, be happy, keep smiling, and remain in touch with us.